my name is Dolapo and I'm the creative director of Dolibi Crafters. I'm going to show you how to make a padded headband in this video. Okay, and um, these are basically the materials we need. So we need um, foam. I have my headband, Alice band, very, very important. And I have my fabric, this is velvet. It has to be a stretchy fabric. I have the matching thread and I have needle. I have my glue gun and the candle. Then I have measuring tape to measure. We'll also be needing a pair of scissors. If there's any other material I didn't mention now, I'll actually show you while I'm working. Now, this is my foam and I have my glue gun plugged already and here is my alice band so we're going to be attaching we're going to be placing our gum i mean our foam on our alice band so i'm just trying to see what will be enough enough i'm going to cut this So this is going to stay on our alice band. I'm going to be cutting more pieces because this is not going to be enough for me. So I'll be cutting more pieces and I'll put them on top of each other. Apply my glue here. And just place my phone. I'm going to trim off the excesses neatly. So I'm going to be adding more. And after trimming it off, I'm, I may add more foam if I feel it's not high enough. The same way, I'll just add more foam. If you are using a thicker foam, you may just uh, need one or two layers, okay? You may not need as much as I am, but because the foam I'm using is not that thick, there's a reason why I'm doing this. I have my velvet fabric. As mentioned earlier and I'm going to place it I'm going to fold like this I'm going to be taking my measurements and fold so I fold this way Fine. after placing it in fold I'm going to use my pins to hold it down because it's you know the way velvet is it moves can actually move while you are walking so you have to secure it down with pins for you to have an accurate measurement I'm going to measure my padded Alice band from here I just take the length okay and what I have is 19 inches because it is a stretchy fabric we will not use it exactly 19 inches I'm going to take away about 3 inches so that's 16 inches I'm using 16 inches exactly for the length of my fabric so I'm going to mark 16 inches length on it Having done that, I'm going to go back to my Alice band and get the center. Okay, this is where the center of my band is. So I'm going to take the measurement round. I put my measuring tape here. 
and I measure it like that up to this point so I have four inches about four inches and I'm going to deduct one inch because it is a stretchy fabric so that gives me three inches okay you know we are going to sew I'll add half inch seam allowance you can add quarter inch whatever allowance you are adding please sew on that mark that extra is what you should be sewing on what I mean is you have three inches this is a quarter inch you're sewing on this three inches so that you don't have any excesses at all so that is the measurement for the middle part. So for me I am adding three and a half inches remember what I measured there was four inches I took away one inch which gives me three and I had it half an inch three and a half now on the fabric you know with the length we have is 16 inches I'm going to get the center of this fabric which gives me eight. 16 divided by two that's eight so I have eight inches here can you see I have eight inches here so now on this center I'm going to be putting measurement I got here and remember this fabric is in fold so I'm going to do three and a half inches in fold can you see I have three and a half I won't measure that three and a half inches straight on my fabric because it is in fold so I'm going to fold my measuring tape to where I have the three and a half inches mark to get the mid point to or to get the half so what I have is one point that's let's say 1.7 inch but just note where it shows that mark can you see so I'm going to do the markings here this is the center of this fabric I place it like this and I mark that about over 1.5 inches can you see on this part so by the time you open this up and measure you have three and a half inches I hope you understand I'm also going to measure it so what I have is about three inches I have three inches as early I'm going to take away one or even up to 1.5 inches yes so that that part will stay very very firmly I hope you understand so I'm deducting 1.5 inches from three inches I will have 1.5 inches are you getting me and I will add that half an inch seam allowance so at the end of the day I have two inches so I'm going to be putting my two inches mark on these two sides of my fabric but remember the fabric is in fold I will need to fold this two so I can get the middle and that gives me one inch so I'm going to be marking one inch on this part of the fabric from the folded part you know this is where the fold is so I mark one inch here and one inch on this side I hope you are getting me please watch this part over and over again for you to understand my explanation by the time you open your fabric up you know it's unfold you will get exactly two inches here okay. so I'm going to cut out my fabric by following this measurement here. cut this out and I'm going to sew from here I sew by half an inch I continue to sew by half an inch and when I get here I leave about two to two and a half inches opening before I continue to sew from here and I close it up here this is where I have my opening for me to turn the right side of the fabric out you can actually trim off this excess allowance so that it won't be bulky on that part it is very very necessary so I'm just going to trim off these excesses I am going to turn the fabric out from here like this Now I'm going to fix in my headband into this piece of fabric. It may be looking small, but you will see the magic we are going to perform. So from here, I will just squeeze in my headband. I push like that. Can you see why the allowance, why 
it needs to fit properly. This is actually very, very necessary. So I just push it in like that. Push, 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 push. I push it in, can you see? Your needle and thread, just so. Okay, so if you have your brand label, just place it on this part to cover it, all right? Or you can just use Peter Sham ribbon of the same color and place it like that to cover it. 